going to show you now a um, uh, braised uh, monkfish on the bone. So monkfish is a very, very sustainable fish uh, in Ireland and still pretty cheap for the quality of the, the fish. Um, and it's going to be served with uh, petit pois à la française, which is uh, just French style uh, uh, peas, just to be fancy. Uh, so it'll be peas cooked with a little bit of bacon and some braised baby jam lettuce. Okay, so the good thing about that dish is one pan job. So we're going to put a tiny little bit of oil, and that's the only really oil we're going to use in, the, uh, in this recipe. And you see the way I dried off the, the fish onto the um, Onto, uh, onto paper like that, it won't stick onto our frying pan. Put a little bit of sea salt over on both sides. Very little because the, um, we're going to use fish stock, which is, a natu is naturally salty, uh, and we're going to use a bit of bacon as well. So that's just a, uh, just a very, very little bit of salt. So we're going to fry up our more fish golden, not too dark, not too dark. Otherwise, it'll discolor the whole, uh, the whole freshness of the, um, of the stock and uh, the vegetables. So after a few minutes, you see we, the, uh, the fish start to be cooked on just the one side there. It gets a slightly golden color coming on top. So we're going to add our bacon and turn down slightly the heat for the bacon to don't color too much. What we want to do is just to melt down the fat of the, um, of the bacon more than anything else. We to turn, out, turn over our fish. It's still frying up the bacon inside. So after a few minutes, when the bacon is cooked and start to, just before it starts to crisp up, we're going to put our, our fish stock down with the bones and the skins and from, uh, from, from the monkfish. As, you, uh, as, you, as your fish monger, it gets you, get you a lot of fish bones. So just before your bacon starts to crisp up, we're going to add our fish stock. Just about halfway up, and we're going to cover it, and we're going to leave it cooked for about seven to eight minutes. Depends the size of the fish. Okay, those ones are pretty pretty nice and big, so they might take eight to ten minutes. So after after seven eight minutes now, see the fish start to pull off the bone, and that's a very good sign that it's cooked. Okay, if you're not sure when you're not sure about the fish, you just go check inside. If it's not too pink, it's okay. Okay. So at that stage, we're going to add our peas. Our peas. So peas will cook only, only in a minute or two, like, okay? So, and then we're going to just to add our baby jam lettuce, just roughly, roughly sliced. And so the baby jam lettuce will take only very few minutes to cook. Turn up the heat, just bring back to the boil, and then everything will be ready at that stage. And a little chef's twist, we're going to add a little bit of a lemon juice there as well. Just to fresh it up. There. So you see, you want to keep the lettuce nice and crunchy but just warmed up, just warmed up. And at that stage, to serve it, be sure you catch a nice bit of uh, leaves. So a nice bit of leaves, nice bit of bacon, all the peas under there. Put a little bit of your, your sauce in there. And then that's your Monkfish au buco, cook on the bone with uh, uh, petit pois à la française. You go inside and you see the fish is nice, nice and moist still because it's been protected by the bone.